In this video, you're going to learn how to add your products to the Revenue Cat platform so that you can easily display your in-app purchases in the app, take transactions to let users purchase them, and check user access levels. You'll learn how Revenue Cat manages products and makes it easy for us to experiment with which offers work best in our app. Hey Code Crew, I'm Chris and welcome to Code with Chris, the place to be if you want to learn to code and to build apps. This is the third video in the Revenue Cat series. If you missed the previous videos, make sure you check out the playlist right there. And here's where we are in our seven step process. All right, let's get started. All right, now it's time to add our in-app purchases to the Revenue Cat platform. Now the first thought in your head might be, we've spent all this time configuring those in-app purchases in the App Store Connect portal. Why are we also adding it to Revenue Cat? Doesn't that seem like we're repeating work or we're we're doing work twice? Well, that's not the case because we're not reconfiguring things in Revenue Cat. What we're merely doing is adding references to those product IDs that we have configured in the App Store portal. And by doing that, we're going to be able to A, manage our in-app purchases across different platforms more efficiently because your app might be cross-platform. Your app might be on iOS, on Android, on web, and Revenue Cat allows you to manage all of those products, group them together. It gives you different ways to present different mixtures of products. And it also gives you detailed analytics as to which offers are performing the best. And so you can continue to experiment and maximize your revenue per user. Now we're going to get into all of that in this video, but first we have to actually add our app to the platform. So log into your Revenue Cat account. If you haven't already, make sure that you sign up for a free Revenue Cat account using the link below, cwc.to slash revcat3. And again, I don't get any compensation for you signing up through that link, but it does let the team know that you're interested in more content in regards to in-app purchases, app monetization, and how to generate revenue from your apps. So if that is the case, definitely go through that link and sign up for a free revenue account. After you do that, you're going to see a dashboard like this, and we're going to go up here and add a new app. And then we're going to put our app name here. So this is a RevCat uh, demo. All right. And for the app bundle ID, this comes from your Xcode project, you know, way back in lesson one where we created this. So go ahead and grab that from the project properties and paste that in there. And then this iTunes Connect app specific shared secret. Now this key allows Revenue Cat to take those product IDs that you're going to add to this platform and go fetch the information. What's the duration? What's the price? You know, that sort of thing. So. Uh, the way to get this app specific shared secret is you go back to the App Store Connect portal under your app, under the manage in-app purchases, you're going to see a listing of all of the in-app purchases that you've configured. But also there's this link here called app specific shared secret. And this is what we need to click generate a new secret key. And we're going to copy this. And then we are going to paste it in here. That's going to allow Revenue Cat to go look at those in app purchases that you've configured. We don't have any Play Store configuration for this demo, so we're going to just click on Add. All right, so now we get to the part where we can configure our products, our entitlements, and our offers. So let me tell you what that's all about. So to work with Revenue Cat, you have to understand three things products, offers and entitlements. Let's first talk about products. These are simply the in-app purchases that you've configured on the App Store or your Google Play Store or other stores. Let's say you have an app that is both on the Google Play Store and the Apple App Store. And in this app, you let users buy a one-year pro subscription or a one-month pro subscription. That means you're going to have four products, a Google Play Store one-year pro membership, an Apple App Store one year pro membership. You're going to have a Google Play Store one month pro membership and an Apple App Store one month pro membership. So that's going to be four products in total. Now offers are how you present those products to the user. And you can have multiple offers, each offer having a different mixture of products. 
Now under products, you'll notice that we have a separate product for each platform. But under offers, you do not have to create an offer for the App Store and a different offer for the Google Play Store. You're going to be able to use the same offer for both stores. Now that's why a single offer consists of multiple packages. A package is simply a grouping of products that are the same, but just on different platforms. So let's say we have offer number one here, and we want to offer a one year subscription and a one month subscription to the user, and they can choose which one they want to buy. Well, inside offer number one, then we're going to have two packages. The first package is going to contain the Google one year pro in app purchase and the Apple one year pro in app purchase as well. Package two is going to be for the monthly option. And in that package contains the Apple app store one month in app purchase and the Google play store one month in app purchase. So as you can see, all a package is, is a grouping of like in app purchases on various platforms. So at the end, offer number one is going to consist of two packages. One package represents a yearly purchase and the second package represents a monthly purchase. Now we can also create a second offer and maybe on this offer, we only want to allow people to purchase the one year subscription. So for this second offer, we only create one package in there and we put the Google one year in app purchase in there as well as the Apple one year in app purchase in there as well. And now that we have two offers, what we can do is experiment and split test and present offer number one half the time and then offer number two the other half of the time and see which one ends up getting us more revenue. Alternatively, with multiple offers, you can choose which offer to present in different parts of your app or maybe different points in time depending on how often or how heavily your user uses your app. So for example, if your analytics show you that that particular user is using your app every day very heavily, then you might only present offer number two with the yearly package. But as for another user who maybe doesn't use your app quite as often and he or she is not ready to make such a big commitment, you might present offer number one instead. So just to recap, offers are what you present to the users to buy. An offer consists of multiple packages and each package is just a grouping of products that unlock the same thing, but on various platforms. Now let's talk about entitlements. So an entitlement is just a level of access that you can see if the user has in order to unlock whatever content that that entitlement level entitles to the user. Essentially, an entitlement is sort of like a membership level. Imagine if your app has several membership levels, let's say silver, gold, and pro. So you create three different entitlements to represent those levels. And let's say you have three different in-app purchases to represent those different tiers as well. So you have a one year silver, a one year gold, and a one year pro products. So you have three different products. So in revenue cat, when you create these three levels of entitlement, you just indicate which product unlocks which level. So you might add the one year silver product in the silver entitlement, which indicates if someone purchases that in that purchase, it's going to unlock that level of entitlement for them. And keep in mind, if you had a one year silver product and the one month silver product, you can add both of those to your silver entitlement level. And this way, when you want to check if the user has the silver membership level, you don't have to check which product the user has. You just check if they have this entitlement because if they've purchased one of those products inside that entitlement, that means they will have access to that silver entitlement level. So essentially here, you're just configuring which products would unlock which entitlement levels for the user. All right, now that you understand this, let's hop into the revenue cat dashboard and let's actually configure all of this. All right, let's go ahead and configure our products, offerings, and entitlements. First, we're going to go to the app that we had created and added. And here we're going to jump into products straight away because the first thing we're going to do is add those two in-app purchases that we created in the App Store Connect side. 
Now the thing we're going to need is the product ID. Remember, these IDs are unique across your entire account. So we're going to select the yearly one here, copy that, and let's go back to our uh, RevueCat demo here. And let's click on new product. The identifier is just what we had uh, configured on the App Store Connect. We're going to paste that in there and then we're going to select the App Store. Let's click add. And let's do the same thing with the second one here. That's the monthly one. And again, it's an App Store. Now, if we had additional ones for the Play Store uh, or any other store, we would put that in here. But this is what we have. The next thing we're going to do is configure our offerings. So let's jump into here and let's choose a new offering. So for the identifier, I'm going to put pro access uh, all products. And this is a string that we're going to be checking against later in Xcode when we go to fetch the offerings from the revenue cap platform to present to the user. For this offering, I want to uh, offer everything to the user, all of the uh, different durations and um, subscriptions that we have to access Pro Access. And so that's why I'm naming it this way. I'm going to say Pro Access to all features. And let's go ahead and click Add. Now, inside this new offering that we have, it has zero packages. So we're going to click into that and we're going to add two packages, one for the yearly option and one for the monthly option. So let's click new. Uh, this is going to be annual. Let's say annual access to all pro features. Let's add that package. And inside this annual package, there's zero products. We're going to fix that in just a second. But let me just add the second package while we're at it. So the identifier is going to be monthly for this one. And this is monthly access to all pro features. So let's go ahead and add that. So now our offering has two packages, annual and monthly. Let's proceed to add the actual products into these packages. If you remember, a package is just the grouping of similar products on various platforms. Since we only have Apple App Store right now, each of these packages essentially only contains one product. Let's go ahead and attach. And you can see here, we're going to select the yearly one under App Store. If we had added the Play Store product or you know products um, of a similar nature, that represents a one year access uh, on the other stores, we would also configure that here. But again, we only have the App Store one. Let's go back to packages and do it for monthly now. And let's attach the monthly one. You can see how easy it makes it to have all of the information when you name it this way that they recommended. All right, now we're done. We have a single offering with the identifier Pro Access All Products. Inside contains two packages, annual and monthly, and inside those packages contains the products that the user is going to see for that tier. The next thing we want to do is configure our entitlements. And so far, I've only talked about pro access, and that's the only entitlement that we're going to have. We're not going to have multiple tiers, but you can do that. Uh, we're going to click on new under entitlements, and this is just going to be pro. All right, and this I again, is going to be a string that we check against in Xcode. So uh, when we want to see if that user has the uh, pro entitlement to be able to access all the pro level content, we're going to see if that user has the entitlement with this ID pro. Again, pro access to all the features. Let's click add. And now we have to add the products which actually unlock this entitlement level. So far, there's zero products that do that. But I'm going to change that. So let's go ahead and attach all of our products. See, the one year subscription is going to unlock this entitlement as well as the one month subscription. That's going to unlock Pro as well. And essentially, now we're completely done. This is a basic configuration of your products, offerings, and entitlements. But you can do so much more when you have more products and you really start diving deep into how to optimize your revenue per user. So there's a lot more to this revenue cap platform than we're just covering here in this video series. So if you want to see more complex use cases with revenue cat and ways to optimize your revenue, peeking into the analytics and really diving deep, make sure you show them some love 
make sure you comment, make sure you thumbs up this video, make sure you go through that link cwc.to slash revcat3 and that's going to let them know that we're really excited to see more content on in-app purchases and app monetization. All right, let's move on. In this lesson, you learned all about how RevenueCat manages products, offerings, and entitlements. If you haven't signed up for your free RevenueCat account yet, you can do so through cwc.to slash revcat3. Now I want to turn it over to you. Do you have any apps in the App Store and are you making any money from them? Let me know by leaving a quick comment below. Lastly, if you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe so you don't miss the next lesson. In the next lesson, we're going to be diving into Xcode to build that Tor app demo where we ultimately will display our in-app subscriptions for people to purchase. All right, thanks for watching and I'll see you there.